Hey guys, Lotus Tech, you're back again with another video. So over here, I have a unmodded switch. As you can see, if I go in album, nothing happens. And if I even restart the switch, nothing's gonna happen to the thing. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to mod a stock switch. So I unmodded my switch and I thought it would be a good idea to start fresh with all the videos and make a complete up to date on how to mod your Nintendo Switch. So there's a few things we're gonna need to have for this guy to work. So I'm gonna take this off. So first we need a switch over here and that's an unpatched switch. The way we can tell is by the serial number here or you can go into system and check your serial number there. So know your serial number and have that with you. The next thing you're gonna need is an RCM jig right here. So it's one of these and this is essential for modding your switch. If you don't have this, you won't be able to mod your switch. So make sure you have this with you. The next thing you're gonna need is a USB-C cable to SD or a USB-C cable to USB to connect to your PC or however you can connect your switch to your PC. The next thing you're gonna need is a way to transfer your SD card files over. So you're gonna need one of these for now because we can't use this just yet to transfer files. So we'll need one of these. And lastly, you're going to need an SD card over here. So for me, I have a 256 gig SD card. So what do we do in order to mod our switch? So there's a few things we're gonna need to use. So we're gonna need the computer and we're gonna get all the files off there. So basically it's gonna take a little bit, but it's not gonna be that bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to power this off and take the SD card out and we're gonna go onto the PC and I'm gonna show you what to do from there. So here we are on the computer and there's a few things that we're gonna need to do before we get started. First thing you wanna do is make sure your switch is not patched. So over here is a website called Is My Switch Patch and all these links that you see here will be put in the description down below. So what you wanna do is you wanna go look at your switch and you're gonna see the serial number. So you wanna type it in. So XCW1. And as you see, you just want to keep typing it in and then it'll say if you get green, it's good. If it's yellow, then there's a chance it may be patched, there's a chance it may not be patched. And if it's red, then you can't do it. But my switch is not patched at all. So what's the next thing to do after this? The next thing you want to do is you want to get the files to mod your switch. So to do a basic mod on your switch, you want to have Hakate. So we'll download this right now. Hakate zip. So we'll download this one. Then you want to go into atmosphere over here and then you want to download this one and you want to download Fusey and then you want to go to Tegra RCM and just download the portable but downloading these three won't give you all the files that you see where it's all fully decked out like a lot of youtubers have or a lot of people have in order to get that you need a pack over here and packs usually cost money but over here they're free so to the way to get to the Lotus Tech pack which has everything in there and we have different firmware versions here is by going and clicking the link in the description down below. When you're in there you'll be brought to this LT Discord server. It's a bit of a process to get to the packs but I'll show you what to do. When you're here you want to go on join here and you can watch this video on how to join but then you're going to see this link tree here. You want to click this link tree, visit the site and you want to press this link here and it'll bring you into this LTS Discord server. So you'll be brought into this LTS Discord server right here. When you're here, you gotta verify. And then what you wanna do, you just wanna scroll down and keep on scrolling until you see switch packs. So I think I passed it, but we should see switch packs right here. Click this, click this link right here, and you'll be brought to the Google Drive for the packs right here. So for me, I'm on firmware version 20. So We'll try keeping this pack constantly updated, but in general, you're just gonna need these three links to get a basic thing going. So I'll also download this and show you how to do both. We're gonna press download here, download it anyway, and it's gonna be downloaded. So now let's go to our Switch SD card. So over here, I have my Switch SD right here. I see it's just Nintendo on there and that's it. And we're gonna open the link in a new window. So we're gonna open downloads in a new window right here. So I can have this side by side for you guys. So over here we have these three right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unzip it into its own folder first. So let's unzip these into their own folder. And over here we have everything. So we can delete all these zip files now because we do not need them anymore. And you're gonna see you have all this here. So what you're going to want to do first is you want to see atmosphere, you want to drag and drop all this and put it onto the root of the SD card.
Then you want to go into Akate, drag and drop, put into a brute of your SD card. Then you want to go and get Fusey, put the Fusey in the root of the SD card and open bootloader, then go into payloads. And there'll be nothing here. You just want to put Fusey into the root of your SD card. As you can see, this is basically it for a basic mod on your Switch. But say you want to have all the latest applications and everything, you want to have this then. So over here, we're going to open up the Lotus Tech folder, but this is optional. This is if you want to have all these applications, like the DS stores, everything in here. See, we have all these NROs on here, all these file applications. So for me, I want to have all this in here. And this is a list of the included programs. We've got all of these things over here. So this is something that's pretty good. Tinfoil, which is something you're going to need. So we have everything here. You can just take a look real quick if you want these applications. So for me, I want them all. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go like this, and we're not going to select that, and we're going to just drag and drop this here. And it's going to take a little bit, but you might get a message saying, do you want to replace some items? So if you do get the message, you just want to press replace. So we're going to see if we get that message, and we'll give this a second to finish downloading. But when this is done, I'll come back and show you what I do from there. So now I finished downloading, but what do we do here? We got this thing, so we're going to press replace. And now we have everything over here. We're not done just yet. The next thing you want to do is we're going to go back to the root of the SD or downloads and we're going to go into Tegra, open up Tegra and open up this application. Now, if you have an antivirus, it may not work for you. So you want to make sure your antivirus is off for this sometimes, but we're going to select this folder icon right here, go to the root of the SD card, or you can go to the root SD card or you can go to downloads, but we're going to go into Hakate we're going to select this Hakate file right here and press open. What you also want to do now is you want to go into the switch SD card here and you just want to right click on here and you want to press eject. Once it's been ejected, you want to get your switch SD card and plug it into your switch. And I'm going to show you what to do from there. So here we are on our switch. So this is the time where we're going to now, I guess, do the mod. So what you want is a USB-C cable plugged in. I don't think you can see my cable, but it's right here. Uh, my USB-C cable here and you want to have Tegra RCM open on your computer so as you can see I have Tegra RCM here and then you want to have your SD card and your RCM jig so what we're going to do is we're going to try avoiding turning on the switch right now take this Joy-Con off open up the SD card and you want to plug in the SD card into the switch just like that what you want to do next slide the jig all the way down and make sure it is all the way down from here, you want to press the power button and the plus one at the same time. So we're going to do that. If you do everything correctly, let go. Nothing should turn on. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go over here on Tegra RCM. We're going to plug in our switch. And it should say payload. RCM OK. We're going to press and check payload right here. And then as you can see, Hakate is now on. So we're going to unplug this. And we're going to go back down. And what we can do is take this RCM jig off, slide this down, and we're gonna set the date now. Setting the date is pretty important. So today is May 18th. So we're gonna go to May 18th, and the time is 11.54 for the time I'm recording this video. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna press done, and we're gonna press okay. So basically your switch is modded, but there's a few things you're gonna do. For me, I don't like carrying around this RCM jig. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go into tools here and we're gonna go onto RCM right here and we're gonna turn on auto RCM. This will make it so whenever my switch fully powers off, I won't need this, it's already in to RCM mode, which is basically what we did by putting the jig here and doing the plus and power button. But keep in mind, if you have auto RCM on, you won't be able to ever go back and switch firmware until you turn this off or stock switch firmware. We're gonna go to home, we're gonna click payloads and actually, we have all these other ones right here now. So we put Fusey.bin, but we have all these other ones here. This is because of the Lotus Tech Pack. But we're going to click Fusey.bin. We're going to wait for it. You're going to see it flash like this. And give it a second. So you're going to see that. And then if you see Nintendo Switch, most likely you did everything correctly. So we're going to wait. And there we go. The Switch is done. But it looks like there's nothing here yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this album right here. And over here, as you see, everything completely changes. We have all of our applications here. And this is basically everything on a modded switch. 
So we have our tinfoil installer. So we're gonna see if tinfoil works on this new version. So I'm gonna click it. And it stopped working on this version for some reason. So another thing you wanna do is you wanna go into settings right here and we're gonna go and scroll down into system. And as you can see, AMS is atmosphere 1.9 and current version 20.01, but everything else is basically done. You have successfully modded your switch. So over here, you can see you have a bunch of applications. We have Melon DS here, and we can't run this until the game is running on there. So that's unfortunate. But if you ever get error codes like these, all you have to do is press the power button and restarts your switch. And that's basically it. But if you do run into errors that are like that, once your switch is modded, you just press the restart button and it restarts. Another thing is if you did mod your switch fully and you were running into errors, untake your SD card out, plug it into your computer and reinstall those files and then just drag and drop and press replace with the same files. You might have put in a file in that and get copied over properly. But basically that's it. You do have a lot of stuff here though. We have homebrew app store here, which is cool. As you can see, it works perfectly fine and you can download all your games, everything that you need here. So you can download a lot over here, but that's basically it for this video. I hope that this helped and if you guys do have any questions, join the Discord server, we can help you there. But thanks for watching and goodbye.